Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Stable Diffusion plus Control Net is freaking mind blowing. Today I'm going to show you a quick workflow about how to use Stable Diffusion plus Control Net to generate extraordinary architectural renderings with simple sketch input. Here are a few examples. This is a sketch from one of my favorite architects, Sajuri Ladubpop. And here are the architectural renderings that have been generated by the model. And let's take a look at how to do it. Before you start it, please turn on Stable Diffusion and then click it right here, image to image. Cause in our case, our input is image, our output is image. So image to image mode is the one you should choose. First of all, the model that I'm using is called DVARC Multiprompt Architectural Tuned Model. You will find it in the link below. I will have a separate video talking about how to install Stable Diffusion, control net, and how to bring different models into the environment. Here is where you choose the model to use. In my case, this is the only option and the control net that I'm using is called Control SD15 Canny. You have to select it here and the preprocessor should also set it as Canny. Then let's start the dropping process. All you need to do is to drop the image into here and also under control net. Then please set the ratio right here. The red rectangle indicates the ratio. Then please go ahead and enable the control net. There are many parameters that you can play with here. In this case, I'm only going to talk about the most important one, the denoising strength. It is a parameter that is used to set the balance between the input image and the prompts. If it has been set to 1, the result will get closer to the prompt. And if you set it as 0, then the result will just be the input image. After that, let's set up the prompt. In this case, I will just use architecture on grassland, beautiful sky and cloud. Finally, we can hit generate. And here is the result. You can save your image by right click it and you can simply get another result by clicking generate. Isn't that amazing? Please enjoy it and I will see you in our next tutorial.